linear equations in one variable, setting up equations from word problems and solving them. The present age of Jacob's father is three times that of Jacob. After five years, some of their ages would be 70 years. Find their present ages. Let us first make a list of the things we know. There are two people, Jacob and Jacob's father. Right now, Jacob's father's age is equal to Jacob's age multiplied by 3. After 5 years, Jacob's age plus Jacob's father's age is equal to 70. We will now write Jacob's age right now as n. Therefore, Jacob's age is equal to n. Therefore, Jacob's father's age is equal to n multiplied by 3. Equations that we have so far are Jacob's present age is equal to n, Jacob's father's present age is equal to 3n. After 5 years, Jacob's age is equal to n plus 5 and Jacob's father's age is equal to 3n plus 5. We also know that after 5 years, Jacob's age plus Jacob's father's age is equal to 70. So, n plus 5 plus 3n plus 5 is equal to 70. We can solve the equation now. Simplifying LHS and we get 4n plus 10 is equal to 70. Transposing 10 to RHS, therefore 4n is equal to 70 minus 10 which is equal to 60. Transposing 4 of 4n to RHS, therefore n is equal to 60 upon 4 which is equal to 15. Therefore n is equal to 15. This is the solution to our equation. We have found out the value for n which is 15. But that is not the final answer. Let's read the question. The present age of Jacob's father is three times that of Jacob. After five years, some of their ages would be 70 years. Find their present ages. What do we have to find out? Present ages of Jacob and his father. Jacob's present age is equal to 15 years. Jacob's father's age is 3 times Jacob's age. We already know the value of n. So what is 3n? 3n is equal to 3 into 15 which is 45 years. That is the final answer. Let us check whether the answer is right. It is given that after 5 years, their ages add up to 70. After 5 years, their ages will be 20 and 50. 20 and 50 do add up to 70 as given. So the answer that we have found out is correct. Let us take a look at another example. Ram has some 5 rupee coins and some 2 rupee coins. The number of 2 rupee coins is 4 times that of 5 rupee coins. If Ram has rupees 117 in all, find the number of coins of each denomination. We read the problem carefully first. We have to choose what to take as n. It is easier to write the equation if we take the smallest value as n. So, which one is lesser? 5 rupee coins or 2 rupee coins? Number of 5 rupee coins is lesser. So we take number of 5 rupee coins as n. Number of 2 rupee coins is 4 times the 5 rupee coins. So number of 2 rupee coins is 4n. How much money does that come to? There are n coins of rupees 5, so the value is 5n. There are 4n coins of rupees 2. So the value is 2 into 4n which is equal to 8n. Therefore, the total value is equal to 
5 n plus 8 n which is equal to 13 n. The total value is given to be as rupees 117. So 13 n is equal to 117. The equation we have arrived at is 13 n is equal to 117. Let's divide both sides by 13. Therefore, n is equal to 9. n is the number of 5 rupee coins and 4n is the number of 2 rupee coins which is equal to 4 into 9 which is equal to 36. There are 9 coins of 5 rupees and 36 coins of 2 rupees. How much money does that come to? 9 into 5 plus 36 into 2 is equal to 45 plus 72 is equal to 117. That tallies with the information in the question. So, our answer is correct. Let's take a look at another example of a word problem. The difference between two positive integers is 50. The ratio of these integers is 1 is to 3. What are the integers? There are two integers. Since there is a difference of 50 in their value, it means one is bigger than the other. Let the smaller number be n. Therefore, smaller number divided by the bigger number is equal to 1 upon 3. Therefore, bigger number is equal to smaller number multiplied by 3 which is equal to 3n. The difference in the numbers is 50. Therefore, 3n minus n is equal to 50. Therefore, 2n is equal to 50. Therefore, n is equal to 25. And therefore, 3n is equal to 3 into 25 which is equal to 75. The answer is, the integers are 25 and 75. Let's take a look at another word problem. The sum of three consecutive multiples of 7 is 777. What are the multiples? Consecutive means coming immediately one after the other. If the smallest multiple is 7, which is m, what is the next multiple? The multiple is the next number that you see in the table of 7. So, the next multiple is m plus 7. What is the multiple after that? The multiple after that is m plus 7 plus 7 is equal to m plus 14. So the three multiples are m, m plus 7 and m plus 14. We know that their sum is 777. Let us put that in an equation. m plus m plus 7 plus m plus 14 is equal to 777. Therefore, 3m plus 21 is equal to 777. Transpose plus 21 to the RHS. Therefore, 3m is equal to 777 minus 21. Let us simplify this equation. Therefore, 3m is equal to 756. Transpose 3 of 3m to the RHS. Therefore, m is equal to 756 divided by 3, which is equal to 252. The three multiples are m, m plus 7 and m plus 14. We know that the value of m is equal to 252. Therefore, m plus 7 is equal to 252 plus 7 which is equal to 259. Therefore, m plus 14 is equal to 252 plus 14 which is equal to 266. Therefore, the multiples are 252, 259 and 266. Let us check this answer. The sum of the multiples is 777. This tallies with the information in the question. 
Let us take a look at another word problem. A fruit vendor buys some oranges at the rate of rupees 5 per orange. He also buys an equal number of bananas at the rate of rupees 2 per banana. He makes a 20% profit on oranges and a 15% profit on bananas. At the end of the day, all the fruit is sold. He makes a total profit of rupees 390. Find the number of oranges that the fruit vendor purchased. What information can you get from the problem? The cost of an orange is equal to rupees 5. Cost of a banana is equal to rupees 2. The profit on oranges is 20% and the profit on bananas is 15%. Number of bananas is equal to the number of oranges and the total profit is equal to rupees 390. All the fruits were sold out. Number of oranges purchased is what we have to find out. Let the number of oranges be n. The price of the oranges is equal to number of oranges into cost of one orange is equal to n multiplied by 5 is equal to 5n rupees. Number of bananas is equal to number of oranges is equal to n. The price of the bananas is equal to number of bananas multiplied by cost of one banana is equal to n multiplied by 2 is equal to 2n rupees. The price of the orange is rupees 5n and the price of the bananas is rupees 2 n. Profit on oranges is 20% which is equal to 20 upon 100 multiplied by price of oranges which is equal to 20 upon 100 multiplied by 5 n which is equal to n rupees. Therefore, the profit on oranges is rupees n. Profit on bananas is equal to 15% which is equal to 15 upon 100 into the price of bananas which is 2n. Therefore, the profit on bananas is 3n upon 10 rupees. Let's take a look at it again. Profit on oranges is equal to rupees n. And the profit on bananas is equal to rupees 3 upon 10 n. The total profit is equal to profit on oranges plus profit on bananas, which is equal to n plus 3 upon 10 n, which is equal to 1 plus 3 upon 10 n, which is equal to 13 upon 10 n. Therefore, Total profit is equal to 13 upon 10 n which is equal to 390. Therefore 13 upon 10 n is equal to 390. Therefore n is equal to 390 multiplied by 10 upon 13. Therefore n is equal to 300. Therefore the number of oranges purchased is 300. Therefore, the selling price of oranges is equal to 300 into 5 which is 1500 rupees. The profit on oranges is equal to 20 upon 100 multiplied by 1500 which is equal to 300 rupees. Number of oranges purchased is equal to 300. Number of bananas is equal to number of oranges. Therefore, Number of bananas purchased is equal to 300. Selling price of bananas is equal to 300 multiplied by 2 is equal to 600 rupees. Profit on bananas is equal to 15 upon 100 multiplied by 600 which is equal to 90 rupees. Let's take a look at another word problem. The sum of the digits of a two digit number is 7. The number obtained by interchanging the digits exceeds the original number by 27. Find the number. There are two digits in this number. 
let digit in the units place be n. The digit in the tens place is 7 minus n. What will the value of this number be? 7 minus n into 10 plus n is equal to 70 minus 10 n plus n is equal to 70 minus 9 n. Then we interchange the digits to get the second number. What will the value of this number be? n into 10 plus 7 minus n is equal to 10 n plus 7 minus n which is equal to 7 plus 9 n. Our original number is equal to 70 plus 9 n. Our new number is equal to 7 plus 9 n. New number is equal to old number plus 27. Therefore, 7 plus 9 n is equal to 70 minus 9 n plus 27. 7 plus 9 n plus 9 n is equal to 70 plus 27. Therefore, 7 plus 18 n is equal to 97. Therefore, 18 n is equal to 97 minus 7, which is equal to 90. Therefore, n is equal to 90 upon 18, which is equal to 5. Therefore, n is equal to 5. Therefore, 7 minus n is equal to 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. And the number is 25. Let's check the answer. Number with digits interchanged is equal to 52. 52 minus 25 is equal to 27. Therefore, our answer is correct. Let's take a look at another word problem. The ages of Ruby and Reshma are in the ratio 5 is to 7. Four years later, their ages will be in the ratio 3 is to 4. Find their ages. Let the common factor in their present ages be n. The present age of Ruby then becomes 5n and the present age of Reshma becomes 7n. After 4 years, Ruby will be 5n plus 4 years old and Reshma will be 7n plus 4 years old. We know the ratio of their ages after 4 years. That is, 5n plus 4 divided by 7n plus 4 is equal to 3 upon 4. Let us solve this equation. We use cross multiplication and write the equation properly and we get 4 multiplied by 5n plus 4 into brackets is equal to 3 multiplied by 7n plus 4 into brackets. Therefore, 20n plus 16 is equal to 21n plus 12. Take plus 16 from the LHS to the RHS. Therefore, 20n is equal to 21n plus 12 minus 16. Therefore, 20n is equal to 21n minus 4. Take 21n from the RHS to the LHS. Therefore, 20n minus 21n is equal to minus 4. Therefore, minus n is equal to minus 4. Therefore, n is equal to 4. We know that n is equal to 4. Therefore, 5n is equal to 20. And therefore, 7n is equal to 28. Ruby's present age is 20 years and Reshma's present age is 28 years. After 4 years, Ruby's age will be 24 and Reshma's age will be 32. Let us check the answer. Ruby's age is to Reshma's age is equal to 24 is to 32, which is equal to 3 is to 4. Can you set up an equation from a word problem and solve it? Yes!